famous for making the Statue of Liberty disappear. How did Actually? he? Yeah. You can you can watch it on YouTube. You know how he did it? Video. All of the audience was on this big circular thing that turned. And so it was done at night. Why? Because it's black and you can't see anything. So they had this, and you were on there right next to the audience members. He had this uh, camera facing the Statue of Liberty and the audience are like bleachers, right? And so he had this big giant curtain. They were, they were on a, 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 a bleachers and the curtain didn't go all the way up the entire statue, just enough so the audience couldn't, couldn't see it. So they, they cover up the Statue of Liberty and goes one, two, three, and opens it up and there's no Statue of Liberty. Because all they did were on a moving thing and it moved like this. And then when they open it up, of course, there's nothing there. Well, the, the it's, a, scene it's a famous trick, and, but it's the, the issue. No, it wasn't because that's why it's done with black is at night you couldn't see. All you saw was black. That's what I'm saying. Magicians use. Uh, if we have time. If we have time. Instead, uh, let us do what we're supposed to do, which is go over the homework. So uh, I forgot who it was, but somebody said I did not get number number seven. So let's take a look at number seven. So here, here. Quiet, please. Number seven, and I had a bunch of people come up here uh, and say seven gave them uh, issues. So number uh, seven starts off by talking about you have four walls. Okay, doesn't say how much each wall is. It just says you have four walls, but they're all the same. So I'll draw one of them. Okay, there's four of them. Well, how big is the wall? We don't know. It's X. But I know I have four of them. Therefore, I have four times X because there's four of them. Further, it says I know how much the area of all four of them added up together are. It's, I don't know what the number is. What is it? No. 360. 360, is that right? Wait, all right, yeah. Look at this. Are oh. you reading it correctly? Is it 360? I don't know. Someone read it. Tell me how much oh. all four of them. Base, you're looking at it. I thought it was I thought it was a two digit number, not a three digit number. Ace, read number seven. Oh, how how all four walls added up together are sixty-eight. Okay. So all four added together is sixty-eight, but it gives you this one extra bit of information that says, by the way, we're not going to include the area of the doors and the windows. And it tells me what that is. So if you're not going to include them mathematically, what does that mean? If you're, it tells me what they are, it's not an unknown. It says it's 12, but it says don't include it. So the word don't include it would mean what mathematically? Just don't trick. include it. Mathematically, what does that mean? Means that the trick and they're trying to trick you. No, 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 stay focused. If I said, I want to give you some more, put it in your pocket, mathematically, what does that mean? So if I say don't include it, what would that mean? And then subtraction. So we're subtracting 12. Well, there's your equation solver. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Do you have Matthew class? I do. Okay, will you send him to the office? Please? He's on his way. All right. Are you leaving Matt or are you staying? Okay. Isn't it with 12 squared and 68 squared? Yeah, those are just, remember, we measure area. You haven't had the next chapter is on, or I'm sorry, two chapters from now is on surface area and volume. Area is always measured in square units. Okay. Uh, you should be familiar with squares and cubes, right? Cubes for volume, squares for uh, area. All right. Well, 4x minus 12 equals 68 for x, and you are done. Anyone else? Yes. Number nine. Uh, number nine. Okay, this four fifths. Here we go through puberty. Four fifths of the four fifths of the money. So if it doesn't say money, it says four fifths of the treasury. Yeah, treasury is a big fancy word for money, right? That's why if you're uh, elected to school office and you're elected the treasurer, you're in charge of all the money. Okay, the secretary of the treasury, the United States, right? They they are the ones that are in charge of money. All right, so. What do I always draw? I draw okay. a box. There's my money right there. I'm not going to draw money. I'm just going to make my life easier. Hey, there's all your money. Oh, wow. What does the first sentence say? It says four fifths of the money, but it says treasury. 
four fifths. Well, how do you write four fifths of the money? Uh, you can put it on how much money is there? You don't know. You don't know. So I put Shh. what's four fifths of X mean mathematically? Four fifths of X. Four fifths. Four fifths. Four fifths. Four fifths. Four fifths times X. Four fifths. So there's four fifths of the money right there. That's part of the equation. Further, it says was to be spent. So four fifths of the money is going to get spent. It says after $450 is spent. So I'm going to go back to both. $450 was spent. Mathematically, what would that mean? It would mean subtraction. So we subtract $450. Hey, all I'm doing is reading the sentence. Right? I drew a little pretty lame thing. I drew a one little box. But the box helped me understand what's going on. It says after the $450 is spent, you got, was it $150? $150. So what do I write? And solve that equation and you're done. Yeah. So two issues here. One, perseverance, not giving up. And then two, do something to help you get to an answer. I tried to show you how I think this through. Uh, once you read it, the, hey, four-fifths times X, you should have gotten the subtract 450, you should have gotten, and you did get the equal 150. But what typically holds you up is you're reading words that you don't truly understand, like the complexity of it, or there's something about it. you got to ask a question. I ever give you a word problem and you're confused. What's a treasury? What does that mean? I will tell you that. I won't tell you what the answer is, but I will at least tell you that. You get hung up on an individual word, Google it. Look it up. Ask Siri. Ask Alexa. Do something like that. Right? Don't give up on a problem after five seconds. I told you the story about period four yesterday, right? No. 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 The girl did it again yesterday. Right, and then she realized that because I told the same story in period four, and then she realized I was talking about her. And then she was like, "Okay, all right, I'll wait a few seconds." And then magic happened. Uh, by the way, she had the exact same question on this one, but instead of like you, when she said, "I don't know how to do any of it," the only thing she had missing was that. She goes, "I don't know what to do with the 450." So it went from "I don't know what to do with any of it" to "I don't know what to do with the 450." So we made a little bit of progress, but she still was like, literally, "I don't know how to do number one." 10 seconds later, and I know number two, so forth and so on. You have to give it a shot. Yeah. I thought it was only the odd stuff. Yeah, uh, yesterday you missed the story. Oh. Yesterday I said, uh, she came to me, literally student advisement. Wait, I have you for student advisement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have them. Okay, no, that makes sense. I have them for student advisement, and literally she comes up to my desk and she goes, I don't have to do number one. We explained the whole thing. We worked it through, and then she went back to her desk. And I, I, I no longer, I, I was at her desk, and then I walked to my. I no longer got about right here, and she goes, "Raise your hand. I don't get number two. I was like, well, "You got to try." And it went on for like three questions, and finally I said, "We're we're done. You have to give it a shot. Don't just immediately give up." All right. Any other questions? Last night's homework. All right. Let's go over it. Here we go. Uh, and this was one through nine odds. Uh, number one. Now remember. The previous homework was set up the equation. This one was solve the equation. So this is the solution. Number one is 30 centimeters. Uh, number three is 2.5. Uh, number five is 15 centimeters. Number seven is 14 meters squared. And number nine is $750. Wait, I got 20%. Okay, let's set up the equation. It was, was 4x, was it minus 12, I believe? Yeah. And that equals? 68. Let's make sure numbers are right. Numbers sub 12 and 68. They are correct. Okay. Uh, add 12. That is going to be 20. Where's our mistake? What did we? The combined area of the doors and the windows is 12. Total area is 68. What is the area of one wall? The four walls of Fran's room have an equal area. The combined area of the doors and the window, combined area of the doors and the window. Oh, ha, 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 ha. It says the combined area of the doors and the windows is stop. Okay. So that means the combined, that means we're not subtracting, right? The combined area is everything together. So if the combined area is 12 and we got four of them, that's 48, right? That's everything put together. All right. 
It says if the total area, including the walls and the windows, is 68, what is the area of one wall? Combined area of the doors. No, I did that right. The combined area of the doors and the windows, yeah, is 12. So you're subtracting 12 from each. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> There's four of them. It didn't say the total. I thought it said the total was 12. Uh, I actually read it wrong. Um, the combined area of the doors, windows of the room is 12. So we need to take your X and we need to subtract 12. And then that will be equal to 12. All right. Area of doors is 12 meters squared. If the total wall area, including the doors and the windows, is 68, hold on, hold on. 4x is equal to 68. So therefore, x is equal to, and this will be everything. Uh, therefore, x is going to be equal to 117. So that's one, 17 times four is 68. And then we have to subtract. Uh, we're gonna take a pause. You guys are gonna do a review here in a second. I'm gonna give this one a thought and then I will give you the explanation. The book is saying 14. Yeah, in the book, yeah. it says 14 meters squared. It does. Yeah. Combine here. Plus, it's not a minus. It's a plus, it's not a minus. It's just, it goes back to, it goes back to the fact that it's English translating into math. So it doesn't say uh, the area without the doors and windows 68, it says the area is with it. So if four, or if X represents the area without the doors and the windows, and there's four of them, then instead of being a minus, it's a plus. All right, now let's do this. So 4X, we subtract 12 from both sides, we get, and that's 14. There we go. Done. All right. Cool. There you go. All right. Who's collecting? Go ahead. So, today we are doing our chapter review. All right. Didn't say it was time to talk. So today we're doing our chapter review. Hey, the part where I said, let's stop talking and you're still talking. All right, everybody look at the calendar. It will be. Uh, we are going to have the test on Monday. Hey, seventh graders. I know it's a shock for some of you that you actually have to do something on the weekend and involve school but you're not in lower school, you're in upper school. So yes, prepare for the test. Like it, As always, right? The thing that you are getting in front of your face right now is what? The same or different than the test on Monday? It is the same. The only thing that's different is? The, the numbers. The numbers change, right? But I will tell you, this is a near identical copy of what the test will look like. Your goal is to add when you do these practice tests is to identify your strengths and your weaknesses, right? Hey, how many word problems are here? Flip through, how many word problems? There are four of them, All right? So there are four word problems. On the test, I will not give you four, I will only give you two, but I wanted to give you four to practice. So there are four problems. This is a combination of, look at the front page, how many steps? It's a one-step equation, one through six, flip the page. And you have word problems. Guess how many steps on those word problems? One. And look at number nine all the way through number 16, or sorry, 18. How many steps? One. Look at it. How many numbers do you need to get rid of? You're not even trying to look. There's two. And then 19 and 20, guess what are? Word problems. That involve two steps. So on the test, I will give you one word problem that has one step and one word problem that has two steps. You will still have two, right? Um, so the test will not be 20 questions. It will probably be more like uh, 18.
continuing questions long. You have plenty of time to uh, on Monday to get the test done. For those of you that are really good at solving equations, this is going to be a really easy test. For those of you that need some time to get it done, okay, you've got plenty of time to get it done on Monday. The test, Keegan, is? Monday. Monday. Uh, Your job is to test it. As always, the last page of this packet is? The answers. The answers. Okay. Your job is to, before you call me, is when you check it, and you didn't get what's in the back of the book. Now, notice they write all their answers in the form of x equals or y equals. They just write the answer. You, however, must write the answer as x equals n equals y equals. Um, so when you don't get x equals 2 and they say the answer is x equals 3, you're going to look over your work and see if you can identify your problem first before you ask me for help. Sit up. Okay, questions of what we're doing today? All right, get started. Uh, some of you may or may not, I mean, this is probably a test that doesn't really um, uh, help you to have a resource card, but remember, you can always have a multiplication table. Can I have a calculator? Uh, you cannot have a calculator. Uh, two chapters from now, it will be a calculator test. I have a question. So the, the, the chapter on area and volume, I will, it will be a calculator test. Instead of using a calculator, can I just use, can I just use Google? How are you going to use Google? Google, Google Glasses. Yeah. Okay. Don't you know what I'm wearing? You know, it's just... How do you keep Clearly not. Like using Google. Uh, how to stop being bullied. Google Glasses were never sold to the public. Yes, how to stop were. being no, uh, bullied they... for using Google Glasses. <laughs> okay. You suck. This is your Okay. Do your work, Gavin. Do your work, Gavin. Do your work. Hey, Josh, do your work. <laughs> he has not come back. Who hasn't? Matthew. Matt. Matthew. I asked him, was he coming back? Because yeah. I wanted no. to make sure. He said yes. No, he said he said he's coming back later today. Yeah, coming back to school. He didn't understand the question I was asking. Uh, I wanted to make sure he got a copy of the practice test before he left. Uh, do you want, I can hear from him. I'll just donate to him. Who sits next to him in SA? Nick. Definitely not me. Can we rely on Ace? Or would no. that be a bad no. idea? Yeah. All right, go grab his sheet. Make sure he gets it. We don't have essays on that. When I heard what you said, we don't have essay. Oh, that's right. You don't have essay. We already did it. What's your last mm. period? English. Who sits next? All right, well, then there you go. Thank you, Ben. Um, oh, so what's up? Know, I can charge him. Oh, my God. He charges anything. Hey, can't hear Go for it. You know, it's like five fourths for the times a. It's gonna be up to the. Copy it off. Yeah, yeah. Can I flip that equation if it's like two equals five fourths a? Can I flip it? Which number are you talking about? Yeah, it's five. Because. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like from left side to right yeah. side? Yeah, yeah. That's and then also. Um, I don't know why you would do that. It's the same amount of work, you know. Just yeah. multiply both sides by four fifths, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, okay, so that's a good question. So should the answer be a mixed number if it's an improper fraction? I will take either one. However, let's let's use some logic here. If the answer is an improper fraction and you change it to a mixed number, are you doing more work or less work? More work. So that's more chances to get it wrong. Get it wrong. So I'm okay. And I'll just say this, and I think I've said this in class, uh, starting mm -hmm. next year, when things are improper fraction, we're okay. We'll leave them as an improper fraction. The reason why we have mixed numbers is because we actually have to do something with that fraction. Uh, 17 over 2 doesn't mean much when you go to Lowe's and try to buy a board that's 17 over 2 inches long. right? However, 8.5, okay, I'm going to buy a 9-inch piece of wood, that sort of thing. So mixed numbers are very useful when you're doing things, cooking, making things, that sort of thing, trying to wrap your head around what this fraction means in the real world. But if it's just a math calculation, we're, we're okay with leaving things as improper fraction. <sighs> Josh, you're going to actually grab a pencil and do something? I have it. Well, then do something Thank with it. Josh. And by that, I mean do the practice test. Caden. Um, so for number seven, um, is it, um, can, would it be like proper for my 
formatting to be 49 minus 32 equals x. <coughs> Say again? Would, it be, would I be able to do 49 minus 32 equals x? That's fine. Yes? Uh, what time do we get out of here? It's Friday. I don't have those ones memorized off the top of my head. I don't know. It's Friday. It's Friday, so we get out of jail. We get out of here at 912. We have 10 minutes left. 10 right. minutes left. Oh, I thought this was eight. Okay. Yeah. No. May I please look it up? Sure. Wow, he said, please. What is please. 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 You said it correct. It's not very pretty. pretty. Hey, hold on a second. <laughs> it's just Mary ran 49 miles. So it's Mary ran 49 miles. And that equals to what did you do? Jill is your ex. What else does it say? So which one's Mary? Which one's Jill? Here's Jill. Here's Mary. She ran. So in order for them to be equal, you are either going to add 32 to her or subtract it from her. So if I added 32 to here, now they're equal. Jill ran, Jill ran less than her. It can, but then 49 is on the other side. I mean, it just depends on how you write it. All right, do we have any e-learners? I am. Uh, we do not. We will end it right here. Test on Monday.